Join Missouri Cures for its virtual Women in Science Entrepreneurship and Research Conference. Refuel, reset, and refresh November 5th. Hear what experts have learned to refocus work-life balance during the ongoing pandemic. Go to MissouriCures.com for more information. You can refuel, reset, and refresh with the Missouri Cures Education Foundation. It's a statewide nonprofit public education and alliance agency that really does promote and protect medical advances. Dina Ladd, their executive director, is here with us today. Dina, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And tell us a little bit about the mission of the Missouri Cures Education Foundation. So, Missouri Cures, we protect and promote all medical research in the state. So, I have the absolute privilege of working with Washington U and MU and SLU and really promoting all the great research that they do. Absolutely, and you have an opportunity to work with all of these incredible organizations, but, but how does this work really impact the community? It really helps promote the great work that's going on in the state, which is an economic development issue, which is also promoting the great research that is advancing cures and treatments in the medical research field. And I get to work with patients and business leaders. It's just an amazing opportunity to really protect and promote medical research. So what times, kinds and types of research is the foundation working with and are really the projects that they're behind? So we really promote all research, and so great things are happening at Washington University to advance the research in Alzheimer's, also diabetes. MU does amazing work in cardiovascular disease. The Stowers Institute in Kansas City, they're doing great research in the field of cancer. So we are very fortunate here in the state that we have so many great research uh, institutions. Absolutely, a wide breadth of research going on in our state from a lot of different education educational organizations. What's the best part about being able to work alongside of these universities and research? Um, just to see the passion. I mean, to me, some people love, you know, sports celebrities or <laughs> celebrities in general. For me, it's researchers. I mean, they are passionate about their work and they're passionate about finding cures for devastating diseases. So those are really, I think, the rock stars. They are the rock stars. They really are, you know, being game changers in the industry, helping find cures to, to make us make us better. Oh, absolutely. And preferably we'll never have to deal with them, but for those fighting, we stand with you, right? Uh, absolutely. What's absolutely. the best part about, you know, seeing everybody come together to support and raise awareness for these research foundations? Well, unfortunately, I think many of us have family members who have been affected by whether it's diabetes or cancer or Alzheimer's. And so as we gather supporters and we encourage you to go to MissouriCures.org and sign up to be a key volunteer or sign up to get our newsletters or follow us on social media, um, people really, I think the majority of people really support medical research because we all have a loved one that could benefit from medical research. We're all impacted in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you can also sign up to learn more about events coming up, and you all have an event coming up pretty soon. Tell us about it. So I am so thrilled. This is our eighth year of the Women in Science Entrepreneurship and Research event. Thank you, KPLR 11, Fox 2. Uh, you're our media sponsor along with Town and & Style. We have other great sponsors, Benson Hill, Washington University, St. Louis University, St. Louis Community College. So this event, we're virtual. Uh, we have been virtual for two years, but the great thing about being virtual is we get men and women who, awesome. part <laughs> who participate. <laughs> Um, from all over the state and actually from all over the country. And so Wiser Conversations, we call it, is all about promoting women in the science, entrepreneur, and research fields. So what are, can people expect from this virtual event? So this particular event is all about work-life balance, self-care, uh, wellness. Uh, we're kicking it off with a great keynote speaker, Kim Becking, and she's going to talk about bouncing forward, being resilient, uh, we're also partnering with the Fit and Food Connection, which is a nonprofit which actually helps provide in underserved communities wellness and nutrition. We have a great panel. They're going to talk about what are the challenges of work-life balance. I cannot wait for that because I, I know we, we all need a little <laughs> bit of, of pro tips on how to balance work and life, right? Yes, absolutely. So even though it's virtual, it's a great time, a great conversation to register. You go to MissouriCures.org. 
Um, we have a lot of discussion in the chat box, and um, we have some amazing women who are participating. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great event, and all that information is right there on your screen. You can learn more at the Missouri Cures Education Foundation by visiting them online or giving them a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And, of course, we'll have all of this on our website at studiostl.tv. That conference info is right there on your screen. Again, the event is happening just a few weeks, November 5th, Fox 2 is a sponsor and you can get more info at missourycures.org.